Hey guys, happy 2016. This video is really, really late, but I'm sorry, I've been kind of busy with work and everything. Um, this is obviously my New Year's resolutions, hence the title. Um, just want to throw it out there, these aren't going to be your typical New Year's resolutions like lose weight and eat healthy. Uh, one, because I don't know, I'm, I'm not really unconfident in the way that I look. I like the way that I look and I don't really want to change that much about myself. And secondly, I eat pretty healthily anyway. Um, I know I might not look like the fittest person in the world, but I do eat really healthily most of the time, which is actually starting to cause me problems at the moment, which I will go into um, when I go over one of my resolutions. So the first one that I've got here in the organiser, I'm trying to be good and organised this year. Uh, what have I got written down? So the first thing I've got written down is drink more water. This is something that's a major problem and has been for many, many years. My friends actually pointed this out to me, I hadn't realised. Um, so I hardly drink any water at all. I'm lucky if I drink a pint a day, which I know is nowhere near enough, but it doesn't feel natural for me to drink loads of water. Plus I have a teeny weeny bladder, so if I do start drinking lots of water, I'm constantly going to the toilet all the time. Yesterday was a really good day for me drinking water. I drank loads and loads of it, and then must have woken up about seven times in the night to go to the toilet. But anyway, that's a good thing. Probably too much information, so sorry about that. My next New Year's resolution, which again is another weird one, is to sleep less. Um, most people put down sleep more because they have restless nights and sleeping a good amount of hours is healthy. But um, I've had this recurring problem for about a year now where I can't control my sleep anymore. I can be just like walking through my house, doing some washing up or out with friends and it just hits me and I can feel myself falling asleep. It can be any time in the day and it's really, really not nice. So um, I'm taking some steps at the moment to try and help with that. I've been for a run today. Um, I'm hoping that being more active might help because I tend to notice that a lot of the time when it happens, I've just sat down and it's like, bam, sleep time. It's very frustrating. So I think it's the ninth today, and out of nine days of 2016 so far, I've fallen asleep five days in the middle of the day, and it's not particularly nice. We're trying to work out why I keep falling asleep. It's something that happens to me a lot more in winter, so it could be to do with the cold weather, and my body just wants to be warm and comfy, I don't know. But Mikey's theory is I'm not eating enough carbs, which is a very good point because I don't really eat carbs that much. Um, I don't eat bread, I rarely eat potatoes, I'll eat pasta every now and then, but mostly I'll have fish and vegetables, or chicken and vegetables, so I don't really get a lot of carbs, which could be what is making me tired all the time. So I'm trying hard to eat potatoes with veg, and then whatever I have for my main meal as well, just to try and give myself a little bit more energy and try not to fall asleep. So my third and final New Year's resolution is to Instagram every day, which I've been sticking to really well. I didn't actually decide to do it until the 2nd of January, so I didn't Instagram on the 1st, but every day since I have posted pictures up, and it's kind of fun. It's, it's challenging at times, um, especially if I'm not feeling very motivated. It kind of gives me a kick up the butt to go and find something interesting to take a picture of, so I've really been enjoying that. And I've got a couple of friends who are also doing the same thing, so it's really interesting checking out their pictures and seeing what they post every single day. I'll post my Instagram links down below just in case you guys want to go and be nosy and see what I've been posting. And then as well as some resolutions, I've kind of made some targets and goals, so I don't necessarily have to do them, but they're things I would like to do. So number one is attend IMATS. I went last year and it's 100% the best thing or one of the best things that I attended last year. It was amazing, I loved seeing all the different artists' creations. Throughout the day you could go and look at their booths and see um, how the, the models had like evolved from normal to whatever crazy makeup was going on. I really loved that. The discounts were great, which obviously, you know, being a makeup junkie, getting discounts at IMAX was great. Also, there were a lot of brands that are very difficult to get hold of, uh, namely Sugar Pill, which I'm going to say they're probably my favourite cosmetics brand because they're cruelty free and they make bright colours um, and the pigmentation on everything is amazing. So I got to get some things from there and also their nail polishes you can't get in this country, um, something to do with shipping. 
But yeah, so I managed to pick up the new nail polishes last year and I would very much like to pick up all of the other ones because they're really, really good. Number two is finish decorating my dressing room because as you guys can see behind me, there's still some streaky paint walls going on and I literally have the tiniest patch of wall to finish just above my window and then it's done apart from like wallpapering, I need to sand the floor and stuff like that. So this year, <laughs> I would like to finish my ring. Number three is vlog more. I've recently given my vlog like a 2016 overhaul. So it looks a little bit more modern, a bit more interesting. It's a lot easier to navigate now. Whereas before it was, um, it was kind of fiddly to find older blog posts, but that's all been sorted out and there's categories. So it's way easier to find things. Also, I will link that below. Um, and yeah, just, just try and blog more because at one point last year I was really good and I was doing it once a week and then it just kind of went Pew! and I thought I was keeping up with it but then I check at the date of my last post and it would be like two months ago so yeah I'm gonna keep on top of that and my fourth and final target slash goal is to expand my Etsy store it's not about making money for me it's something that I really enjoy doing I'm quite a creative person so I like just buying loads of stuff and, and seeing what I can make with it it's, it's really satisfying once you get like a final completed product and I've had good feedback so far as well so thanks guys. Also my Etsy store will be below and something I really wanted to do this year was to go on um, a metalwork course. I did find somewhere that did it, it's a very far far away place from where I live which kind of made it a bit inconvenient and it was quite expensive for the course so I really wanted to do that but in my current circumstances where January the hotel is temporarily closed so I'm only in for one day a week and I'm literally there for like two three hours tops and then I'm finished so I'm not exactly making enough money to do that but that is also something that I would really really like to achieve at some point in the next few years so those are my resolutions slash goals slash targets what are yours um, do you have any interesting ones not like you know the boring I want to lose weight because we all know most people don't bother sticking to that crap anyway what are your plans for 2016? Are you going on holiday? Do you want to go to festivals? Let me know below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!